A move was just made by Thrace Atlas that has destroyed every prediction we made regarding its course. The enigmatic interstellar object, which was intended to travel toward Earth, has abruptly diverted and is now accelerating in the direction of the Sun. This is not a minor or slight deviation, an adjustment of course. Atlas carried out what specialists in orbital mechanics are identifying as the most aggressive course change ever observed in space, whether natural or artificial. Within less than 18 hours, Atlas modified its speed by more than 8,000 meters per second and changed its course by 47 degrees. That type of maneuver calls for thrust capabilities that surpass anything humanity has ever built. But here's what has astronomers completely perplexed. Atlas isn't just heading toward the sun, it's diving into it. Its course will take it deep into the sun's atmosphere, much closer than any spacecraft has ever gone before. According to current projections, Atlas will reach the sun's chromosphere in about 12 days, venturing into regions where temperatures exceed 500 zero degrees Celsius. Natural objects don't suddenly change direction and speed like this. Comets lack the necessary thrust for such a drastic shift in trajectory. What we're witnessing is no longer astronomy. It's technology at work on a scale that makes our most advanced spacecraft look like toys. The question is no longer whether Atlas can change course, we just witnessed it happen. The real question is, what is it about the sun that's significant enough for Atlas to risk descending into a stellar furnace? Let's detail what exactly Atlas did because the physics of this maneuver are both shocking and revealing, they fundamentally change our understanding of what this object truly is. Several tracking stations detected Atlas beginning to change its course over an 18-hour period. The procedure started with a series of powerful thrust burns lasting about 47 minutes each, with intervals of two hours between burns. This wasn't a simple course correction. It was a meticulously orchestrated sequence of powered maneuvers. A study of the orbital mechanics shows that Atlas executed what experts refer to as a multi-burn trajectory modification. With each thrust burn, both velocity and direction were gradually altered, step by step, toward the final shift in its path. Precisely how we would program a spacecraft to efficiently adjust its orbit. The total change in velocity. Delta V was approximately 8,000 meters per second. To put that into perspective, that surpasses the escape velocity required to leave Earth entirely. Atlas just proved it can generate thrust comparable to launching from Earth's surface into interplanetary space while already traveling at interstellar speeds. The amount of energy required is mind-boggling. Conservative calculations imply that Atlas used energy equivalent to the total output of every operational nuclear reactor on Earth continuously for six months, all compressed into just 18 hours of thrust burns. Whatever Atlas's propulsion system is, it operates at energy densities and efficiencies we can only theorize about. But it's not just the magnitude of the thrust that's extraordinary, it's the precision. Atlas didn't simply fire engines and hope for the best. Timing and precision guided each burn to achieve a specific final trajectory with astonishing accuracy. The end result, a course that takes Atlas exactly where it appears to want to go, straight into the sun. Radio telescopes detected another key aspect of the maneuver. Atlas's electromagnetic emissions spiked significantly during each thrust burn. The characteristics of these signals match theoretical predictions for plasma exhausts similar to those expected from advanced ion or even antimatter drives. Whatever propels Atlas produces enormous electromagnetic signatures as a byproduct. Propulsion engineers analyzing the emissions describe them as exceptional. The electric field spectrum revealed that, during thrust burns, ionized particles were accelerated to significant fractions of the speed of light, exhaust velocities far beyond what our current engines can achieve. Atlas demonstrates a propulsion technology that is decades, possibly centuries, ahead of our own capabilities. Furthermore, such drastic course changes require overcoming enormous momentum. 
Objects in space naturally continue on their paths unless acted upon by an external force. To dramatically alter course as Atlas did requires not just raw thrust, but the ability to reorient that thrust precisely, vectoring engines in real time to adjust both speed and heading. Atlas's latest trajectory has scientists both fascinated and terrified. This is no cautious approach to the outer solar regions, it's a headlong dive into the inner solar system, one that should be suicidal for any known technology. Present tracking data shows that Atlas will reach the chromosphere, the lower layer of the sun's atmosphere, in about 12 days. Just above the chromosphere lies the visible surface of the sun, where temperatures range from 60 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius. Hot enough to vaporize any spacecraft we've ever built within seconds. But Atlas's current course takes it even deeper. If it continues as projected, Atlas will pass through the chromosphere and enter the photosphere, the sun's visible surface, where temperatures reach about 5,500 degrees Celsius and the density of solar material is millions of times higher than that of interplanetary space. One astronomer described the trajectory as unprecedented. No spacecraft has ever attempted to travel this close to the sun. NASA's Parker Solar Probe, our most daring mission, only skims the outer corona while staying well clear of the chromosphere. Atlas, however, is heading where no probe has gone, deep enough that no direct observations exist.